how to start a handyman business in four easy steps. Four easy steps. First, get yourself your name and get it registered with your secretary of state. Very simple process, cost me $50. Yep, you heard it, that's right, 50 bucks. Get your name registered with the state. They will give you a tax ID. You, you are almost legit. Step two, go open yourself a bank account with new said business name. Very simple, go to a bank, open up a checking and savings account, use the tax ID that your state gave you and open a business checking. It is so important to make sure that you keep your business finances separate from your personal. It makes a dramatic difference when it comes to tax season and you can print off a profit and loss or you could have your accountant look at your profit and loss and they have all the information for your business in your business. Because you definitely don't want the IRS all up in your business. Number three, step three. Get yourself some business cards. You got your name, you got your bank account, you get yourself some business cards. You are ready to roll and start passing these babies out. You get out there, you start passing them out. Friends, family, let them know you're doing handyman services. Let them know you were on your own and you are looking for work and you hungry and you gotta pay some bills. Let them know you hungry. All right, so that third step, get some business cards. You can go to vistaprint.com. This is not a plug for them, but that's where I first got mine. Get yourself a nice little simple design, print off some business cards, get 500 business cards. Go to your local hardware stores, go to your um, Home Depots or Lowe's. Feel free, try to talk to people, interact with people, hand out your business cards like candy. Free, give them away. Get rid of the business cards. Order more when you run out, but get yourself some business cards. Stop talking about your business. Get all up in other people's business about your business. That's step three. Step four, your online presence. I'm gonna combine three things with your online presence. Get yourself a simple web page, a website. Um, get your business name that you use. Get a website. It costs me, I think it's 150 bucks a year with my registered trade name online for my website, my domain name, I mean. Get yourself your website. All I did for mine was I just wanted a landing page. I didn't do 16 different pages. They could click this or click that or look in anything. It's one page, has my name, what I do, and it has a contact form. So when they go online, they can find me, they can plug in their name, info, it sends an email directly to my phone. I can contact them right from there. Um, get yourself your Facebook and a Google business page. Those three things will springboard your online presence like you can't imagine. So when you get online, use your, you have to have a personal Facebook page, so if you don't, you know, get one, um, and create yourself a business Facebook page. Get Send it to all your friends on Facebook. Hey, look, Jim's doing his handyman services now. Let all your friends like your page, share your page, let them know what you're doing and what services you provide through your Facebook page. You can reach a lot of people real quick and once word of mouth starts spreading that there's a handyman in the area that answers his phone and shows up, you will have work. Um, and get your Google listing set up. Go online, register your name with Google, and they will send you a little card in the mail to verify your address to make sure your legitimate business. It'll have a code on the postcard. You put the code into Google, it verifies, and then you can start with the big review game and getting reviews. People, as soon as you leave a job, always ask free question, hey, can I get a review? Can you leave me a review on Google? And get that online presence starting to be built and it builds credibility. So now you went from being a no-name handyman to being legit and we's all about legit. So four easy steps to get that handyman business off the ground and running. It's simple, it's not complicated, don't make it harder than it is. There's other things you can do, but start with the four simple and get out there, get your feet wet, get started, get going. Like and subscribe to the video. Um, come back for more great content. Thanks.